Steve. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mary Wilson. I'm here from Orlando. Um, I want to mention to the young people of America that if we allow the Republicans to destroy Social Security and Medicare, hello, it's going to be your bill to support your parents and your grandparents. Think about that. And we can cure this so easily by, by lifting completely the FICA uh, cap. No, no more stopping the, the uh, uh, FICA deductions at a hundred and some thousand dollars. Let those boys at, at, at the, well, at the uh, hedge funds that are making one billion dollars a year, let them pay six percent of their paycheck into the Social Security and Medicare fund and we will have all the money we need. Thank you so very much. So uh, my name is uh, Ray Seaman. I'm the online director for Progress Florida and the founder of Awake the State. Uh, I'm here at the festival today because uh, this is a great opportunity for working families and people who make Florida work actually come together and find a way to organize and fight back against the extremely anti-middle class agenda that Governor Scott and his allies in the legislature are perpetuating on the people of Florida. Uh, so it's it's great to be here. Um, it's, it's phenomenal to see thousands of people here and uh, we're going to have a good time. So. Thanks so much. My name is Ana Villasimani and I'm here because small movements make a big change. Thank you so much. No my name is Patty Campbell and I'm here today representing the Union Plus Mortgage Program, which is part of Union Privilege. Union Privilege is the benefit arm of the AFL-CIO. So, what's so important about what I do and why I'm passionate about what I do is I help union members, parents and children of union members, and retired union members by providing a benefit that's not um, offered to anyone but union members through our company. They get closing cost discounts, the loan stays with Chase for the life of the loan, and what's most important, especially now, once the loan's in place for a year, if something were to happen, layoff, strike, or disability, they can take advantage of an interest-free loan that will pay their mortgage for six months. So it's a safety net when one is needed the most. It, this is a great organizing tool, so any of you listening who are union organizers, you need to take advantage of your Union Plus benefits. Thank you so much. Uh, Kurt Johnson and uh, now here today with the College Democrats from uh, University of South Florida. Um, came out because we've got to get mo moving now. Now is the time. Uh, with the voter suppression laws and whatnot, we've just they've declared war on us. And I'm not I'm not gonna take that sitting down. So we're out here to stand up with our workers and our other Floridians and uh, make sure that we get the state that we deserve. Jenkins and I'm here because I think it's really important that people are aware of what's going on in our state right now. There's a lot of uh, movements that are happening that are, are attacking the working and middle, the middle class, the working class, and the poor class. And it's been like this for as long as we can remember, but now more than ever it's extremely blatant as to what they want to do and what they're trying to do and it's, it's downright wrong. And they know it's wrong, but they obviously don't care because they keep pushing it and they mask it by lies. And they want the American people to think that we're the reason why we're in this state that we are when in fact it's not it's government they're the reasons why we're in this predicament but they want to make everyone else believe that it's us so we need to come together and realize what's actually happening we need to get aware we need to awake the state because there are stuff happening to us right now and it's making lives even more difficult in this economic recession so what do you think of this event i think this event is really cool i'm like really excited to be here i heard about it through a local union um, and uh, they were like you should totally come down and i was like okay and i'm really glad i made it out here you know uh, it's good to be around uh, like-minded people who are also aware of what's going on and are make, taking steps and actions to, to get us back on track. So it's really fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Susan Smith and I'm here today with the Wake the State, specifically Democracy for America, DFA Tampa Bay. We're here to promote our campaign training that we're bringing to Tampa on July 16th and 17th. And we also want to let people get their pictures taken with our uterus because that's been one of our fun
Thank you so much. The famous one. Hi, my name is James Schmidt. I'm from Gainesville, Florida, and I'm here to represent the Civic Media Center, which is Gainesville's info shop. Uh, we have an alternative lending library of uh, books and DVDs that are available for checkout to our members. We're a completely independent 501c3 nonprofit organization uh, with a membership program, and this is our 18th year of operation. So we have a very supportive, progressive, and radical community in Gainesville. Um, and our, our space is available for grassroots organizing purposes. Uh, unions and grassroots groups can come and have meetings. They can hold public events such as press conferences, workshops, talks, lectures, etc. Uh, people come to our space to make signs for protests and rallies. We hold, uh, dip, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, boy, I'm losing my brain. And how do they get in touch with you, brother? Uh, you can look us up online, civicmediacenter.org, all one word, and uh, give us a call, 352-373-0010. Thank you so much. All right, man. Hi, my name is Ryan Clark, and I'm the president of the Jacksonville Young Democrats, and right now I'm running for president of the Florida Young Democrats. And I'm down here in Orlando today, down here in Orange County, at the Festival for Florida's Future, and it's so great to see so many progressive activists from all over the state come together today in a show of unity, strength, and support. I have, uh, I'm a Democrat that comes from a working family. I was born a Democrat, I was raised a Democrat, and uh, you know, coming from North Florida, it's not always... Uh, it's not always positive you're going to meet so many Democrats, so it's always great when I come to meet folks from around the state that share our ideas and share our values and talk about how we can take those ideas and take those values and export them all over the state, export them, take them to the governor's office, take them to the state cabinet offices, run better campaigns, run better candidates so we can change the way our state is governed. It's a great day. It's a great thing to be a part of. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy so many folks are here, and I'm just, uh, I'm just thrilled to be here. My name is Rick Newha. I'm running for Palm Beach County Commission District 5, Southwest County, uh, Southwest Palm Beach County. I'm here today to stand with my union brothers and sisters. My mother was United Federation of Teachers, so one of my first uh, bits of activism was uh, on, a, on a picket line with her. And I tell you that we have to strengthen the union brotherhood here in Florida. The, the union has been squashed here and we need to find a way to get more local jobs, more union jobs. I'm running for Palm Beach County Commission because of accountability, a sustainable infrastructure, and managed growth. I'm tired of Palm Beach County being corruption county. I want to see local jobs and union jobs putting solar panels on the governmental buildings. And I'm tired of environmental land and agriculture preserve land being built on. I'm all in favor of building and the jobs that come from that. But let's say a library, and I'm all in favor of libraries, is being built. I don't think that that should be on environmentally protected land. I think it should benefit some of these half occupied strip malls, put that in one of those places and the, ben the benefits to the local businesses uh, and local jobs will come, so will the money to the county. Thank you so much, Rick Newhoff. I'm running for Palm Beach County Commission District 5. I'm Keith McHenry now because we are risking arrest sharing food in uh, defiance of a law that was passed limiting the sharing of food to twice a year per part. And uh, this is kind of part of a whole nationwide program to try to eliminate groups like Food Not Bombs from organizing to change society by showing that money should be diverted from military spending towards things that really need to that would provide real security, like uh, food, shelter, education, health care, things like that. And in the wealthiest country on earth, where 50 cents of every federal tax dollar is spent on the military, there's no reason anyone should have to stand in a soup line to get food, or anybody should have to like seek shelter at, at, at a homeless uh, camp or something. Everyone should have housing, everyone should have food, everyone should have health care. And that's why we're out in the street risking arrest, sharing food at Lake Eola uh, twice a week in uh, Orlando. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gloria Thomas from Davie, Florida. Um, right now I'm helping with uh, trying to, to get the news out to our people, to let them know in the neighborhood. Some of the things that's going on in Tallahassee that we need to know about. 
So we're here today working and playing with the, the kids can play while we work, trying to get news out, letting everybody know what is going on. I don't know uh, with our churches, we have some churches here, we have community people here, but we need to get out in, into the community and let them know that we're not going to stand for what they're doing in Tallahassee now. Governor Scott, you need to be out of office because you're not for the people. Right now, with no jobs and you turning all the stuff down, vetoing it, it's not going to work. So that's why we're here today. Thank you so much. You're welcome.